There is no question that connected and autonomous vehicles are coming. What we're going to see soon is these vehicles on the public roads, so on the roads you and I drive on. It's just going to be the, the future of transport. It's going to open up a lot of possibilities for people. This is the very, very start of something exciting. Gateway is a series of trials really looking at how people are going to use future transport, new mobility solutions in the future. These trials are all about engaging members of the public and getting their feedback and their perceptions on how these vehicles are going to fit in with their lifestyles, how they're going to fit in with smart cities in the future. This isn't something which is happening in the laboratory, it's happening within the Royal Borough of Greenwich uh, and it's been fascinating to see people interact with the product. My hope is that the learning that we get from Gateway actually makes a difference to the vehicles that manufacturers design, to the way that we design uh, the streets and roads and communities that use those vehicles. For the Royal Borough of Greenwich, it's, it's critical that we involve the public, that we involve our residents and indeed businesses, and that we take account of their views. If we do that, we stand a good chance of deploying this technology in a way which is to their benefit and to the benefit of the city. I'm very excited about it because it's the first time we're going to see pods actually being used by the general public in a live trial, uh, I think anywhere in Europe. This is about the UK and UK industry and engineering and science and behavioural studies, really making sure that we get the best in this country. We work in an international marketplace. Gateway gives us an advantage here. We can go and talk to different countries who perhaps aren't as far down the journey as we are. It's actually brought a consortium of partners together to deliver a solution and actually understand what people want from these vehicles. Is it mobility as a service? Is it just about getting from A to B? Or is it about actually reducing the number of accidents on our roads? Very often we underwrite our products very much at a distance. So actually to be in the pods, to see the way that the pods are built, to see the sensors that are in there, it really gives us comfort in terms of what it is that we're going to be ensuring going forward and gives us confidence in technology. We've designed the whole Gateway programme around safety. Safety first and foremost. It's a fairly complex environment that the, uh, the system has to be able to navigate. There's lots of pedestrians, lots of cyclists, and they're not really following highway rules. So there's a lot more degrees of freedom as to what can happen. It's about how these vehicles connect, how that data has been pulled from the sensors and the cameras to make sure that people that travel in these vehicles are actually kept safe. We experienced some of the worst uh, snowstorms I can recall in years and uh, we showed that the vehicles were able to continue operating in conditions that uh, a human driver would have found very challenging. This is the start of a revolution. Even though the future is uncertain, it's an exciting future and hopefully we'll be able to help shape that future using evidence-based research on how people interact with autonomous vehicles. The name Gateway wasn't chosen by accident. Gateway was meant to inspire lots of people, so it's the gateway to the next stage. So we're creating London's Smart Mobility Living Lab right here. And that's going to be a test bed for connected and autonomous vehicles.